All right, so all you Mi 11X users, after a long time, we are doing a ROM review for this wonderful device known as the Mi 11X in India, Redmi K40 as in China and Poco F3 in Europe. Now, today we are trying a custom ROM, which is Elite version Next Gen 13. This is, of course, a paid ROM, which we got for free because we are going to try it. We've been using it since the last two days. So in today's video, we're going to talk about the benchmark numbers, gaming experience, and a lot of other things. So before we get into the video, if you haven't already, please subscribe because it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this now without further ado hello awesome people welcome to phone ops my name is kalash let's get going So first things first, what we have here is Elite version Next Gen 13 22.5.25 beta. Now, of course, this is based on one of the Chinese betas which are released for the Redmi K40. And the obvious choice there is because the MIUI version that you get in China in terms of performance, features and fluidity is much better compared to the MIUI version that you get in the global markets or in the Indian market for that matter. Now, this Elite ROM does have a ton of features so much so that it does have a dedicated customization menu. There are many options that I have explored and there are a few which I have still not explored. So one by one, we will look at them individually in this particular video. First thing that you will notice with this particular ROM is the fluidity. Now, if you are on the stock MIUI ROM, you will already see that this particular device performs very, very fluidly because come on, this is an 870 we are talking about. By the way, we have another 870 powered device. So wait for the comparison between these two. A lot of videos coming up. That will be interesting, but that's a discussion for another day. Now, the moment you boot into this ROM, you will see that you have very minimalistic applications. And the moment you launch any particular app, the app icon animation, the fluidity, the smoothness is just next level. Even if you go to the Google feed, you will see that in the 120 hertz mode, it works like a charm. It's almost as good as custom ROMs, which is really, really nice. Now, if you look at the top over here, you will see that there's a ton of customization going on. For example, this date looks different. The way this battery indicator is moving looks different. This Bluetooth icon and the weather temperature looks different. So these are all customizations which are offered by Elite themselves. And the developer of this ROM, Mirza, has done a pretty splendid job. He has ROMs for around eight devices. And I would really request you to go ahead and give it a try because Every time I've tried his paid custom ROMs, the experience has been pretty, pretty good. Now let's go to settings over here. Let's go to my device and let's see what we have here. LA development project. All the details of Elite ROM are mentioned over here. As you can see, this is of course a 128 GB variant with 6 GB of RAM and the Snapdragon 870 processor. Now, apart from this, one another good thing about Elite ROM is it doesn't have bloatware. It is absolutely bloatware free. Most of the system applications on this particular ROM are updated to the latest. Even the Game Turbo that you get, although not the Game Turbo 5.0, but you do get a latest Game Turbo over here, which will enhance your experience. As you can see, you do get the new Game Turbo. Now, what is a little weird to see here is you don't get the GPU settings, but I'm pretty sure once you update Game Turbo, you will get those GPU settings. Now, the control center that you set over here, if you go to settings and if you go to notification and control center, control center style, old version, new version, you can disable this, enable this and reboot your device once, you will have the MIUI 13 style of control center. As you can see, so MIUI 13 control center is available. All the latest MIUI 13 features on this ROM are available. And overall, if you talk about battery life, smoothness, charging, it's doing a pretty great job. This is probably one of the best MIUI based ROMs that I have used for the Mi 11X. Now, one more good thing to note over here, if you're someone who plays BGMI a lot or you play Call of Duty a lot, I've not tried Call of Duty, but at least in BGMI, by default, you'll be getting 90 FPS unlocked, which means you don't really need to go ahead and make any changes to the config files and other things. It gives you 90 FPS gaming by default, which is a good thing. And the gaming experience has been pretty good as well. Let me know in the comment section if you want me to do a dedicated gaming review with this particular ROM. Now, apart from this, the camera application, as 
just like all the other system applications is the updated one as you can see you have 0.6x 1 2 and a few other options over here even if you go to the more section and you click on uh, say document mode where is our document mode okay so if you go to the document mode you do see that you have black and white enhanced original you see this shield the moment you click on it protective watermark you can select what protective watermark you want. So it's not only one or two system applications that are updated. Almost all the system apps in this particular ROM are updated and the performance is really, really nice. Now, one downside of using any custom ROM based on China beta is that whenever you're using a messaging or banking application, you have to actually manually go to the system settings of that application. Like, for example, you click on phone pay, you go to app info. Then you'll have to go to permissions and there will be a permission over here called get device info. You'll have to allow this. Otherwise, that particular application will not be able to send SMS and do the activation part. So whenever you're using a messaging application or a banking transaction application with this particular ROM or any ROM for that matter, which is running on the Chinese beta, please make sure you take care of this setting and you will not have any issues. Now, apart from this, let's actually dive into Elite Customizations, a dedicated menu which allows you to make a lot of changes. Elite ROM Next Gen. Now, if you go to battery, you can see over here, you do have a ton of battery options, including do not show, just the percentage part, just the battery bar at the top, battery bar along with percentage, battery percentage inside the icon. You know, all these features are customizable. You can see over here, the charging indicator can be colorized. You can enable disable shadow. You can see the font percentage charge, icon size, icon scale, icon division. There are a ton of customizations over here. Now moving on, if you go to the brightness bar, you can enable the brightness design settings. As you can see, you can change the slider color as well. So very, you know, really, really weird options. The amount of work these guys have put into MIUI and they've made it completely different. Just the other day, I was having a discussion with one of my colleagues that if Xiaomi being such a big company cannot optimize the MIUI, how can a custom ROM developer can? Well, once again, you have your example in front of you. If somebody decides to make software better, they can definitely make it better. And this is definitely better than stock MIUI. You can customize your charging color. You can customize your clock settings. You have the colors overflow option over here. Along with this, you will have something like a connection timer. So there are a ton of options available here as well. Then control center customization along with individual tile customization is available and contacts and calls. You can have full screen call photo, default photo from the gallery when incoming. Moving on, you do have date customization, MIUI launcher customization, infinite scroll on desktop. Just look at the options. I mean, if I were to cover all of these options, this video would be more than 20 minutes long. And I really don't want to bore you guys with a very, very long video. So, you know, whenever you install this ROM and you get the paid version, you will get a ton of customization. That is for sure. Now let's look at the important part. A lot of people are worried about benchmark numbers and performance for which we will of course go to the updated gallery. Now, as you can see over here, the CPU throttled to 92% of its max performance. The average performance was 220 533 GIPS along with a max performance of 233 616 GIPS. Now that's splendid numbers. We also did a hundred thread pressed as you can see. CPU throttled to 83% of its max performance and the average score was 283, 176 GIPS. Crazy numbers there. Moving on, if we actually talk about the Antutu benchmark numbers, let's see what we have in store for Antutu. 692,383, these are the individual scores. Once again, one of the highest scores in Antutu when I've seen Mi 11X with a MIUI based ROM. Last but not the least, we will also talk about Geekbench in which we will have a look at the single core and the multi-core numbers. So 956 single core, 2908 multi-core, a little low because I'm usually used to see 1000 and 3300 on single core and multi-core when the stock ROM is concerned, but pretty decent experience, amazing gaming experience. The battery life is pretty rock solid. 33 watt charging works fine. This ROM does come with safety net passing. So your banking applications will work just fine. Just take care of those settings that I mentioned. And you do have Widevine L1, which means you can enjoy HD content on Netflix and Amazon Prime as well. All in all, one of the best custom ROMs based on MIUI. 
Elite ROM Plus. You can go ahead and check their link mentioned in the description. Let me know in the comment section what do you think about this video. Until the next one, this is Kailash signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling, take care, goodbye.